Every okay, week. guys, so we figured out what's wrong with this. I didn't think so, but look. Look. Oh, man, they're everywhere. Look at them. Look at all, how many. They're burning through this lawn. So we're going to so go. So we got a letter from our extension office that they're extremely bad this year. And this client's lawn started going down in a matter of days. Oh, yeah. We have to spray it. Yeah. Is there a granular we can put down? No, I think it's, oh, man, then it's rain coming. But we... By the way, good morning, boss. Good morning. This is not a good morning for us. This no. was one of our nicest looking lawns and this year would have been really nice. That we thought we had fungus. Early on we did. We treated it with a fungicide and started the, looking better. Started looking better. And then all of a sudden a spot in the back corner, because mm -hmm. I think that's where it started. Yeah. In the back corner over here got browner. And I didn't see anything. Then we got a call. I wasn't here the last visit. I didn't yeah. come with you. She didn't come with us. So we got a call Friday, I think, or last week. He said something, Sa Sunday. Sa Sunday, something's wrong, something's wrong. So I figured we were high humidity, maybe fungus spread a little bit. And we got a email from the extension agent that um, the, there's been a big army worm population. Yeah, huge. The presence is bigger this year than it ever has. Been. So let's just say this hasn't even been a week and I'll show you all the damage. Might just have seen the video of me mowing yeah. this one. Now, if we let this go any longer, he'll have no lawn left. Yeah, so, so what I'm doing, I'll show you real So here's all the damage. It comes around here and you wanna see where it started. I know where it started. It started right back here. See back there? Oh boy. And it's going all the, and this is what all these little, all these little wasps you guys see flying around. What they do is they lay their eggs in any worms in the ground. And that's a good indication that you have grubs and stuff too, a high mm -hmm. presence, is these wasps that fly around. You see them? Yeah, they're beneficial. Yeah, they're definitely beneficial, but we have to spray this lawn. Um, because if we didn't do anything, it would probably be here by the time we come mow it after this storm. So it's all this. So what I'm doing for now is I'm gonna throw- wow, I'm th they really eat it. Yeah, oh. I'm throwing grass seed all in here, just for now before the rain. And we're gonna go see if we can get a spray or something to put down here. Yeah. So let's go ahead and finish that. And even if the grass seed doesn't pop up, I'm just doing, this was extra they seed we the had. Weeds there, don't they? Yeah, they leave the weeds, right? Pesky little animals. Okay, so I'm just throwing this seed that I had down from last year, an extra bag. It's like I said, even if it doesn't come up, if it does, it'll give us a jump before we aerate and seed this lawn again. Oh boy. Rachel said she should have recorded me spraying that. Um, okay guys, so... And of course now it's about rain. Yeah, but that's what I was going to explain in this video. It's going to rain for the next two days, and we didn't want to do nothing for the next two days because that will spread dramatically. Oh yeah. So the cheapest option was to hit everything with a natural BT, mm -hmm. like a heavy coat of BT. And at least before we get like heavy rain in the next hour or two, at least maybe it'll knock out 25% of the population. And I think it'll knock out more because once they bite into it, that's when it starts to work. Yeah, and I was actually reading that your 24D has some pyrethin in it. Maybe? Oh, that'll kill it too? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we're going to be spraying that probably really soon too to kill all these weeds. Mm -hmm. And we also, another thing with the BT, it won't hurt the seed that I just put down too. So I don't know if the other stuff will. I would have done it anyway. If it wasn't going to rain, I would have gotten stronger stuff uh -huh. and sprayed. But because of the rain, we wanted to take care of the problem as soon as possible. Well, everything that I'm reading saying that is, is saying that the BT should handle it, no problem. Okay, and we'll just hit it one more time with BT. Yeah, probably. because they are a little bit bigger. Some so. of them are a little bit bigger. Okay, so um, we're going to go try to do this mulch now. We didn't expect to do this today, but let's go. Okay, we finally made it here to do this and it is raining so yeah we do work in the rain somewhat i don't like to but but this isn't too hard of a job as you guys see
is our new wheelbarrow, guys. The electric one. Okay, we are finished this one. We added this mulch bed here. They can add flowers later on to give it a little bit of color. But definitely put mulch beds along the house. Keep, see how it's splash up there. It'll definitely keep all the mud and dirt from splashing up against the house into the air conditioner. So, and it yeah, looks good. It looks pretty, yeah. You do a good job, boss. Okay. We spade it around here. So pretty nice, right? Let me shake these plants off. Can you help? Got it? No. Oh, we shut the gates, guys. Pull it and hook it. I know. Well, this, because he, the dog gets out, right? I don't so know. I guess I put it to one over. I don't think the dog's getting out of there now, boss. No, well, yeah, because that's why they have that there. It's pushing out. So instead of moving the rock, I put their stick back right there. Oh, yeah. Gives that it a little nice. bit of a, uh, right? Oh, look, a slugger. You're not going to eat those hostas, sorry. Is that what they do? 
Are you trying to kill it? Are you trying? I'm, I'm trying to take it to another area. Yeah, I'm pretty sure whacking it with a stick that hard does not help its uh, cause, does it? <laughs> That'd be like you somebody grabbing a concrete pillar and hitting you with it to get you out of the way, man. So as you can see, we did do some work. Yeah, I'm pretty sweaty from just that little bit of work. Yeah, we, that was a quick little mulch job. Definitely makes a difference, mulch. Um, it does make such a huge difference, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It looks really pretty. So. And you guys seen the attack of the army worms. So we'll let you know if um, our method of getting rid of these things works. We bombarded a whole yard you seen with BT. Um, and heavy, I put it in heavy. So it's not going to hurt the grass. It'll just kill the worms. Um, and then we're gonna do it probably again Thursday. I'm gonna hit it at least the areas where they are invading into. Um, I again. I even went. Um, there was like a couple brown spots in his ditch, and I went and started investigating in that area too. And there were some in there. So they're gonna start going to the green areas. Like what you guys saw was what they had already eaten. Um, so now they're gonna, you know, and this is the first time we ever had to deal with army worms. Yeah, I've never dealt with army worms. And never I think Rachel was reading online. Somebody said they came from Hurricane Fred or Tropical Storm. Yeah, Fred. which is I don't know if you guys can explain that a little bit more. Like we said, this is our first experience. Um, and our extension office put out, you know, a, a, a letter. letter saying like hey just to let you guys know we're seeing a huge presence in fall army worms and they can really do a lot of damage in a oh few yeah days. they did a lot of damage a lot of damage in just a couple days you guys mm -hmm. um so i yeah just i don't know we're so give us any information you guys have on fall army worms i've been seeing everybody talk about it and when this client um, emailed, I said to Carl... And I was like, no, it's probably fungus. <laughs> We've had temperatures up in the 90s. I've never seen army worms here before, ever. Um, they probably were here before, but not in our lawns. And then when we went today, I was looking down in there and I said... Oh, we saw them right away. Right away, you seen them. There were big ones, baby ones, yeah. little ones. So it does say that the BT works best if they're little, because I'm assuming that they eat more when they're little, mm -hmm. right? And then, you know, they go through the life cycle. So I was reading the whole life cycle is about 28 days um, and they're white moths. So, yeah, they're like white moss with like some other. So the whole life cycle is 28 days. So what they do is they eat, they turn into moths, and then they lay their eggs again. And there's like three or four um, cycles a year that they're saying. And late summer is usually like the worst because... I don't know why. So, so we're gonna we're, we're gonna be hitting that thing with BT like two or three mm -hmm. times. So and um, if any of our other lawns are thinking that they are seeing any type of um, but like worms, caterpillars in your lawn, please let us know as soon as possible. Yeah, because they <laughs> will take it out quick. Now we aren't gonna mow anymore. Probably for the next two days. Um, more than likely, we're just going to be home the next two days. To, well, the rest of today and tomorrow because of the hurricane. That yeah, if Louisiana. you guys can't tell, it's raining now. I mean, it's just sprinkling right now, but um, you can't mow in this. Yeah, so. And we do have projects that we could do, but at this point, um, it's just easier. To Look, do you it. get all nasty doing yeah. the mulch. It's easier to do it when it's not heavy downpours yeah. coming. Yeah, and I'm really glad that we did get that done before the rain because. Yeah, definitely. Our plan was to go earlier this morning to definitely have it done, but then we had the army worm yes, issue. Yes, issue we had to go take care of. Yeah, so. we have to take care of it because we don't want to lose an entire lawn. Like, people put so much money into their lawns. Now, we did, at our because we had a half a bag of seed, and seed is very expensive this year, guys. We told the client we had a half a bag from last year. We ended up, I ended up throwing it on whole bunch of the lawn like all over the bare spots wherever these things were going and the seed won't germinate probably for seven to 14 days so they're right. not going to eat it um and then the bt is not going to affect the seed no the only thing that might affect it is if i go to spray it with a 24d i'm not going to 
Yeah, that stinks. I'll just have to wait on this. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Or just do tenacity on the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Just use tenacity. So. Oh, but then I was reading that the 2-4-D would help with the... I was reading that the 2-4-D would help. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah. We'll spray it with the... I mean, maybe we'll get, get like, some type of germination rate. Yeah, a um, little bit. And you can kind of just stay away from that area a little bit, but... But we are going to hopefully be aerating is. and seeding I mean, but we're going to have to weeks. charge them... You know, we told them that we're going to have to charge them for two applications of BT because we really didn't want to wait until after the rain. If you wait, then he really... And I'm only going to charge them what I to spray it i'm not like the cost for me to go out the labor i'm not gonna the bt we've had we had jugs of it and it's only what ten dollars a jug yeah it's that was the idea. cheapest method to get down something to take out some of these things so yeah so guys if you like farming videos we're gonna do some more in the garden and stuff the next couple of days in the rain um i don't know what usually i just come out here and start doing things but you yeah. guys enjoy watching them um so I'm going to keep on putting them up. Yeah. But um, we wanted to say thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Yes, We're really not. close to 10,000 subscribers. And I know you guys hear this all the time from us, but we never expected it. No. Um, and we really, really do appreciate it. And we are going to try to do some more lives, um, maybe once a month, once, twice a month. We were trying to do every other weekend, but we got messed up with the whole vacation thing. And um, Yeah, and but, it just, uh, this weekend is Labor Day weekend. So I don't yeah. know if we're going to... No, not it, this weekend. And so it probably won't, won't be it. next weekend either. No, so. so Once we slow um, down and winter time comes and we don't have as much to do, we'll do some more lives with you guys, answer questions, and just Yeah, chat. so make sure that you guys are like throwing us questions that mm -hmm. we can answer um, so that we have stuff to chat. And Always do suggest to look into your state laws about, you know... Spraying, yeah, putting, putting fertilizer down, down. post-emergence. Um, um, you know, and it is something, it's not very expensive to go to school. It no. really isn't. Um, and you get such a wealth of knowledge and you get the backup of all these other lawn, um, applicators that mm -hmm. will help you out. And, you know, like I said, we got an email from the extension office. If we weren't certified or licensed, we wouldn't have got that extension. Yeah. So we would have been running blind. Yeah. So it really is a lot of great information. Um, you know, we don't know it all. No. And even this many years into it, we're still doing learning. research and, and learning, learning. and changing things up. Like last year, we didn't spray a 2,4 D with the sedge killer three weeks before we aerate and seed this year we are and then we're going to hit it with a tenacity as we aerate and seed because that is a post-emergent too not for grass seed it's a post-emergent and a pre-emergent mm -hmm. and it's not for it won't harm grass seed when you do it the same day as seeding so yeah. okay guys so please like comment share subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when we upload videos which is like every day and don't forget to be happy or at least try have a good night